We need to talk about Bitcoin ordinals. Yes, this is the new BRC20 token standard, which now allows you to inscribe on the Bitcoin network, creating Bitcoin NFTs. Could this be the reason we're starting to see a drop here on the Bitcoin price action? You can see that Binance and other exchanges have, out, have now started to announce that they will be supporting the Bitcoin ordinals. But what are they? Why are they a little bit controversial? And what could this mean for the security and future of Bitcoin? We're going to try to unpack that. But first, smash the likes. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the links in the description if you want to buy or trade any cryptocurrencies. Now, before we get into it, what we need to understand is what is an ordinal, right? Let's go back to scratch. People just glossing over this. But what is it? Well, if you imagine you have 21 million bitcoins ever created right that's the maximum by 2140 the year 2140 all of those bitcoins will be in circulation now those bitcoins can be denominated as per satoshi's white paper into 100 million satoshis per bitcoin that's the divisible unit to make it easier to trade so if you've got 21 million Bitcoin, you've got 100 million Satoshis. That means in total, you're going to get two quadrillion Satoshis ever circulating. Now, what a few people have managed to do is they've managed to figure out a way to inscribe text, images and other content, as you can see here highlighted here, other content into these Satoshis. So let me help you visualize this. Almost think of this like, you know, when you send somebody a bank transfer and there's a reference field where you can enter why you're sending them money, right? You send them for dinner yesterday, they paid for dinner. So you put dinner in the reference field. Well, there was a similar reference field built into Bitcoin. But what somebody managed to do was figure out how to attach more than just text in there. So not only could you put text, you can actually put an image. So let's take this Satoshi. Right. This Satoshi had a number and this is the number for this Satoshi. So this would have been like every other Satoshi out there. OK, it was created in 2013. Let's say this individual Satoshi when it was minted and it was just one piece of a Bitcoin, just like every other Satoshi was. But not anymore, because somebody has gone and minted into that Satoshi the image of this dog. Right. So now you can create NFTs within Bitcoin. Now, it's not a formal route of doing so like the NFTs on Ethereum, but there's a lot of benefits to doing it on Bitcoin because Bitcoin is actually scarce material. Right. A Satoshi is scarce. There's not going to be an infinite number of Satoshis printed. There's two quadrillion of them. That's it. With Ethereum, there could uh, theoretically be as many as you want. Right. There could be lots of those NFTs being created. Whereas this one is unique to that one created with scarce materials. And this is why this is now starting to pop off because people are realizing that up to 4 MB, we can attach data to the Satoshis. And this has led to a new standard now called BRC20 tokens. Just as you had ERC20 tokens or you had your Solana tokens, you now have this token standard for these tokens being built on Bitcoin. So the biggest by market cap is this Audi tokens who were the original. This did start popping off earlier in the year, but now it's really starting to capture the imaginations of people. And you're getting a lot of different projects here. This is creating a really big ecosystem worth just shy of $700 million already. This is a new ecosystem being built on Bitcoin. Now, I'm going to come on to some of the negatives and how this could become a bit of an almost existential risk for Bitcoin, because you're seeing some of the Bitcoin forked projects like Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin uh, SV start to move now as people start to get nervous about where this could go. We're going to get into that. But you can see here, there's a lot of different projects on here. They've minted different amounts. They've got their supply written here. You can see the market cap. And now exchanges are flocking to list some of these projects. Audio is already starting to be listed on major exchanges. Again, you can jump over into CoinMarketCap, click on markets, and you can see the kind of exchanges listing this token where you can buy them. But as for the NFTs, if you have a custodian Bitcoin wallet, such as Unisat, you can go in and bid on these NFTs. You can go ahead and say, I want that NFT, and you can go ahead and bid for this specific Satoshi. So it's an NFT marketplace in essence. Here's where the concerns start to come in. Bitcoin fees per transaction have continued to rise, right? These are now still sitting close to all-time highs despite being in a, you know, the kind of last stages of a bear market. 
if you look at the mean transaction size, you're starting to see that the mempool is clogging up with lots of small transactions because people are inscribing a bunch of different text into the Satoshi. If you've made it this far into the video and you someday want to be able to read the markets, do technical analysis, trade as we are doing on this channel, then perhaps you may want to check out my free technical analysis from scratch course over on Skillshare. For those who aren't familiar, Skillshare is an online education platform. You sign up for a nominal amount each month and you get access to a wide variety of different courses. I personally use it to learn all sorts of things from video editing to financial to using Excel and various other bits and pieces that you may want to learn. It's far better than YouTube on those elements because on YouTube, everything is about retention. Whereas with a course, you can put things in a structured curriculum. And that is exactly what I've done with my TA course. It's completely free for the first 30 days. If you click the link in the description, ijaz.uk forward slash TA to take advantage of the TA course. Let me know what you think about it and let's get back into this video. If you look at the data here, just in the middle of April, you're inscribing well over 3 million in total inscriptions on the Bitcoin order. This is not a shabby amount. And this is showing that this is really capturing the imagination of people who want to build Bitcoin NFTs. But here's the thing. Some people have speculated that this has been created by people who are trying to troll the Bitcoin network, who are actually trying to troll the Bitcoin maximalists because they know they're going to be annoyed by this. The Bitcoin maximalists who fought through the previous block wars many, many years ago, and that's why you got the forks into Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin SV, who didn't want to increase the block size from 4, uh, from 4 MB, they wouldn't like this. And now you're starting to see some of those arguments play out because if people want to mint NFTs, the argument could go is that further down the line, they're going to want to increase the block size so they can attach longer videos without the need to fragment. This could create a lot of controversy. And that is why we're starting to see the price action of many of the other Bitcoin forks, such as Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin SV, start to move here on the day. Very, very interesting. It could also explain some of the reasons of why Bitcoin is getting a little bit of a calling off here, getting rejected from $30,000. It's definitely an interesting one and definitely one I want to monitor here over the next few weeks and months. One thing is for sure, the notion that people will want to build NFTs on Bitcoin is one that is going to be here. The question is going to be, how do we manage to navigate this future? The genie is now at the bottle. People will want to create Bitcoin NFTs using inscriptions. Will this be resolved by a fork? Will people just learn to get on in this new world of Bitcoin? How will the Bitcoin maximalists feel? that now Bitcoin is not just being used as a transfer of wealth or store of value, but instead being used as a utility for NFTs. Will there be infighting? It, could this pose a threat? We're going to have to watch this space. But one thing's for sure, a new market is born and it's already worth over $700 million. We will be updating you here on this channel as and when there are updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.